this video, we're going to talk about another very important object-oriented principle, which is polymorphism. Polymorphism is a really big word that explains something really pretty basic once you, uh, once you get into it. So what polymorphism is, is when you have a class and then you have a class that inherits from it, when that inherited class changes the behavior of a specific method or process in the parent class, that's what polymorphism is. So I'm going to show you a really basic example. I'm going to say def API logger and say end and say puts API connector starting just like that. Now if we come down to here and let's say uh, for our phone we want to inherit so say API logger you notice we don't have a method called API logger in here yet but if I come back here and say Ruby class setup you can see it says API connector starting just like we learned in the inheritance lesson so polymorphism comes in when we override one of these values so I'm gonna come down to phone connector and I'm going to come here and you can see that now we have our API logger here and I'm going to say instead of this starting I'm going to say phone call connection or API connection starting so even though we have this method called API logger in both spots let's see what happens when we run this so I'm going to come here run it and now it says phone call API connection starting so our method overrode the parent one and it changed the behavior of the class based on the phone connector and this is something that is very common in Ruby development and it's a way of giving some custom behavior to your application but now what happens if we want to have both elements there? So say we have an API logger and we want to know when the phone connector is starting, but we also want to know when the API connector is there as well. That's where Ruby comes in and gives us the super keyword. So if I type super in right here and come back and run, now you can see it says API connector starting and phone call API connection starting. And the way that that happened is it took in this first method and it called this one first. So if you go in an order of operations, it said, okay, we're calling the parent class API logger because we called super right here. It looks at the parent class method or it looks for a method called API logger in the parent class and it says before we do anything else run that method and now run this one and this is a really handy way of extending a method it's kind of almost like uh, inheritance for a method itself where you can take in a method let it run and then still have access and the ability to change the behavior uh, for that specific instance. So that is how polymorphism and using the super process in Ruby works.